Hi guys, to start off our yoga session, we're going to practice our breathing. Uh, breathing exercises are really good to help relax us. Even though you might feel a little bit silly sat down and just focusing on breathing, the benefits are very good um, for your mental health. So, all we're going to do to start off with, I'm going to ask you to sit. It's called a lotus position, but basically all we're doing is being sat with our legs crossed. I want you to sit up nice and straight, drop your shoulders, okay? Engage your stomach muscles so you can feel that your core is holding you up and you've got good posture, okay? Your arms, I don't mind where they are, just make sure they're nice and relaxed, okay? Everything that we do, we're going to focus on three, okay? So we're going to take a big breath in and hold for three and then when we exhale we're going to exhale for three okay so i'm just going to show you that so we're going to take a big deep breath in and then breathe out breathe in for three and out okay can we do that together we're going to do three sets for our breathing so just clear your mind, get yourself nice and relaxed, and get ready to join in. Ready? And we're going to breathe in. Two, three, and out. Two, three, and in. And out. Last one, breathe in. done guys hopefully you'll feel a little bit more relaxed if you want you can pause it rewind it do a few more breaths whatever helps you feel relaxed but doing that in between your lessons uh, can help you refocus clear your mind and de-stress right guys we're going to do a little uh, short yoga routine and um, the routine is called a sun salutation which is just a series of movements that go into a routine. So we're going to start off and just keep adding movements as we go along. Um, for your yoga, you're going to need a mat or maybe pop a towel down, depends what your flooring's like. If you've got laminate floor, like we've got in the dance studio, you might want to get something a little bit padded to do your exercises on. Or you can maybe lay down a towel if you've got a um, carpet on the floor. Okay? Get yourself nice and comfortable. Uh, feet shoulder width apart. Okay, the first pose we're going to do and the first movement is called the mountain pose. So all we're going to do is we're going to stretch up as high as we can and then we're going to lean it back. And then we're going to drop it down to a half fold. We're going to bend our knees, swing it back and then back up to our mountain pose. Does everyone get that? We're going to do three of these guys. Everything we're doing, like our breathing, is in sets of three. So we'll hold it for three and we'll do three sets. Okay? Are we all ready? So our first one, we're going to come up into our mountain and lean it back and drop down, half fold, knees bend, swing back and back up. And down to our half fold. Little swing. The last one. Knees bend, little swing. And back up. Lovely, well done. Relax. We're going to move a little bit further to the back of our mat now. So we're going to add an extra move. All we're going to do once we've come up from our mountain pose. When we come down to our half fold, we're going to walk out to a plank and we're going to hold that for three seconds and walk back in. All right? So from our mountain, we're going to come up, lean back, drop it down, walk it out and hold. Make sure you keep your bum tucked in and walk it back. Slowly curl up and lean back. Two more. Walking it out, hold, and back, slowly curl up, into our mountain, last one, nice and strong, 
Tuck your bum in and walk it back. Slowly curl up and lean back. Well done, guys. Second part of our routine, we're going to add another change. So, again, we're going to stay at the back of our mat and we're going to start with our mountain and we're going to go out into a plank position and into something called a downward dog and an upward facing dog. We're going to show you first and then we'll do it together for three sets. Alright, so we're going to go up into our mountain, half fold, walk out to a plank, hold it for three. I'm going to reposition my hands two paces and then I'm going to lean it back into a downward dog. With our downward dog, we're trying to keep our legs straight, we're trying to push our heels as close to the mat as we can. Obviously, if you can't get your heels to the floor, it doesn't matter, and we're going to drop our head. Lovely. From this position, we're going to lower ourselves down to the mat into an upward facing dog. We're going to arch our back and lean our head back as far as we can. You've got two options here. You can hover and hold, or you can drop your legs down to the mat like Mr. Taylor is now for you, and lean it back. Lovely. From this position, we're gonna tuck our toes back in, and we're gonna sit back and stretch out, drop our bums to our heels. In this position, it's called the position of a child, okay? And then from this position, we're gonna pop back up to our downward dog. Feet curl under and heels push down. Okay, and relax. Is everyone happy with that? Let's do that together then. And we're gonna do three sets on the floor, okay? So, let's swing up into our mountain. Half fold. Out to a plank. Reposition our hands for downward facing dog. Push our heels to the floor. And lower ourselves down into an upward facing dog. And drop our knees, sit back, stretch it out, and back up to a downward facing dogs. Tuck your toes in, push back, heels to the floor, and then drop back down. Knees drop, sit it back. One more time. Downward facing dog, push those heels as far as you can, and we're going to lower. Knees drop to the mat, sit it back. Downward dog, and walk back up to standing. We're going to add a new position called a warrior position. We're going to start from this down here lower and we're going to go out into our downward dog and from our downward dog we're going to go up into our warrior position. We're going to do two sets of these but hold them for three seconds. We're going to just show you the movements first and then we'll do it together. All right so we're going to start in our downward dog position. From this position we'll be starting with our right leg so you, your leg will come in and just place your, your foot in between your hands and you're gonna lean into a lunge, okay? Once you've got your position nice and strong, you're gonna slowly lift your arms up into that warrior position, okay? We'll hold it for three, we'll drop it back down and we'll swap legs. Is everyone happy with that? All right, let's all do it together. Okay, so if everyone wants to get into their downward dog position, you ready? We'll go with our right leg first. So we're going to bring it in, drop it between our hands, and sit back. Let's slowly lift our arms. <laughs> and drop it down. We're going to push that leg back into our downward dog position. We're going to bring our left leg forward. 
Get your base nice and strong. And we're gonna lift up and hold. And drop down. We leg back into our downward dog. If you like me, my mats keep slipping. <laughs> And we're going to go again on the right hand side, the leg comes in, this time if we can drop a bit lower into our lunge that will be great, and up, and back down, drop that foot back, and swap, deeper lunge, and up, and back down, pop it back, knees drop, into our seated position, and relax. Okay guys, to end our yoga session, we're just going to do a last little bit of relaxation. Uh, we've been working lots of different parts of our body, and now we want to just switch off and start to relax parts of our body again. So all I want you to do is get yourself comfortable. Okay, so get yourself into a comfortable position. It's entirely up to you what position you choose to do. In yoga, there's a number of different positions uh, you can go into when we do in our breathing and relaxation. Um, so you can choose whichever position you want. Okay, but just make sure it's comfortable for you. All I want you to do now is clear your mind. Think about all the movements that we've been doing. Think about that number three. We're gonna slow our breathing down. So if you wanna breathe with me, we're gonna breathe in for three. And back out for three. Breathe in for three. You can carry on doing your breathing. Keep focusing on that number three. While you're relaxing, try not to think about anything. Clear your mind of your work. Focus on the sounds around you. What can you hear? Can you hear the wind? Can you hear rain? Maybe you can hear siblings. But clear your mind and just focus on your environment. Stick with your breathing. Try and slow your body down. You should feel all your muscles start to relax. I'm going to lie here now for another 10 seconds. Okay, at this point, if you want to pause and lie in this position for a little bit longer, please feel free. But what we're going to do is slowly Come back up into our seated lotus position. We're going to do it slowly so that we don't get a head rush. Our back's nice and straight, remember, like at the start. Engage our stomach muscles, drop our shoulders. We're just going to roll our head to the side and roll back to the other side. Just going to do a bit of breathing to finish. So all I'm going to do, we're doing our three breaths again. We're breathing in with our three, our arms are going to come up. Once we get to three, we're going to exhale for three and bring our arms down. Let's do two more sets together. Arms come up for three. And exhale for three. More. Breathe in for three and exhale for three. 
London.